your thoughts on your team's performance? Uh, you know, I, I thought we were solid. You know, I mean, we played 120 minutes on on Tuesday. You know, that's not something that you can put away lightly. He played 120 minutes, flew across country, and uh, you know, I thought our performance was uh, was one of those where we had to bend a little bit, but we didn't break. I thought our defense held together uh, well. You know, got a great goal from Chad Barrett, a great header, and. Um, you know, so we're pleased with uh, with the end result, and uh, I think our defending was solid. Jaleel Anibaba coming in um, in central defense. Uh, what did he provide for you guys in the fifth shutout of the season? Well, we needed some fresh legs, you know, and I think Zach Scott has played really well. I thought Jaleel played really well tonight, uh, you know, and his speed is a good matchup with Eddie, you know, so that was that was good for us as well. But we needed some fresh legs in there, and, uh, you know, he provided that for us. Ozzy helped us in midfield with his legs, uh, you know, but they did a good job of uh, really packing the midfield and putting a lot of extra bodies in there, and, and that was something that uh, maybe we didn't adjust as well, especially in the first half and in the second half towards the end, then we sort of locked it down by going with an extra midfielder. But I was pleased, uh, obviously pleased with Jaleel. Aaron Kovar getting his MLS debut. What are your thoughts on his performance? Well, it was good. We were talking about it. We were saying, is this game we throw Aaron in? You know, it's going to be a tough game, you know. But, you know, as I said to him, hey, have some fun. Enjoy it. Get out there. Uh, you know, we know he's got a great a great fitness level, a great engine. He's also skillful enough that, uh, you know, he can he can help us in, in terms of our ball possession. Uh, we wanted that, and he's a like-for-like -like replacement for Marco. Uh, and I thought Aaron Aaron did ever so well. What did you see from him lately that made you encouraged to get him into this game? Aaron's just very consistent. He's very consistent in the work that he brings every day to practice, you know, and and, uh, and the quality he brings. You have a good feeling as a coach that, you know, he, he his valleys are not very deep. He stays at a pretty pretty good level. If anything, I got to kick him off the field, you know, because he, he would stay on the field for 24 hours if I let him. But, uh, uh, you know, I thought he was really solid. And he's been really consistent. Chad's effort tonight, I mean, it seemed like he was kind of in the mood from the beginning. Chad uh, Barrett. Barrett. Yeah, Chad is, you know, he's he's a quality player, you know, and uh, he's he's had little aches and little injuries and 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 at this stage of his career maybe 90 minutes is not always in there for him, you know, because he started cramping up, but uh, you know, he's got I think four goals for us now. Uh, you know, I think I don't know, there are two or three of them game winners. I know two of them are. Uh, but uh, you know, he's he's he knows how to play. He combines well with uh, with Papa and those guys, and uh, you know he was a good force for us tonight, and also provided some fresh legs. After his game uh, against San Jose, did it feel like he was kind of due to get one? Yeah, I mean he was unlucky against San Jose. You know he had the header that Bingham made a great save on. You know, I mean, and he's he, he's surprisingly good in the air. I don't think people realize how good he is in the air, and uh, you know, and he hit that one that he cranked off the post as well in that game. So it was good to see him get one. You guys, you know, you were without Clinton, DeAndre, and, and tonight you're out without all the family, and you, you hit this. <clears throat> it's a break, but it's not really a break with the U.S. Open Cup and everything, and, and, and to have guys like Chad there to, you know, to turn to in, in situations like this. I mean, how, how in your experience in the league, how, how rare are guys like that that can kind of be third or fourth on that forward depth chart and yet provide you, you know, the quality that, that you saw from him? Well, that was our objective at the start of the season. You know, uh, you know, Chris Henderson along with Adrian and myself and Kurt Schmid, you know, what we really wanted to do is improve our depth up front. We knew there was going to be a period of time that we were going to miss Dempsey. And so by bringing in Kenny Cooper, by bringing in Chad Barrett, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to push Lamar Nagel back wide. You know, he gave us the depth up front. Tristan Bowen was uh, on the bench tonight. He hasn't been able to be on the bench due to various little injuries. Uh, so that's another option that we have up front. And, and that's what we went, uh, you know, after. And that's what we consciously wanted to do is make sure we, we had better depth. And, uh, you know, through everybody's hard work, we achieved that. The yellows to Ozzy and Gonzo means they're both out for the game against Vancouver. How difficult does that make filling their spots in the middle of the park? Well, you know, you know, it is what it is, and so that means somebody else gets an opportunity to play. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll figure it out and we'll make it work again for us. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate uh, a little bit. You know, I thought Ozzy's was Annie Baba's, but I guess Ozzy got him. I haven't seen the replay on that. And then, uh, you know, Gonzo, I was line with Gonzo, he goes, I didn't want to take the free kick because I knew we were going to slow it down. I said, you should have just let Kovar hit it. He, has, he doesn't have any yellows. He hasn't played. And so, you know, he says, yeah, I should, have, I should have thought about that. But, you know, it is what it is. And so we're, you know, short. So we'll figure it out uh, before we play uh, Vancouver.
David Estrada seeing his first minutes of the season tonight. Uh, your thoughts on him? Thought he did all right. You know, we, we felt it was a good situation for him. They were they were overrunning us in midfield, and we, we thought if we could bring on somebody on the right flank to help us defend there, we could bring Michael Azira into the midfield and centrally and only play one guy up. And uh, I think with that, I think that helped us a little bit too. It forced forced them into longer passes and, uh, you know, didn't allow them to get through as much uh, in the middle midfield. But it was still, you know, defensively, like I said, we bent a lot and we had to make some key plays, key saves. I mean, the one that uh, Stefan Fry makes, you know, at the end of the game off his face, you know, I mean, it's hands, you know, chest, face, legs, doesn't matter. That's your job as a goalkeeper and I thought he did well. It's not that he didn't face many shots, but with just the one shot on goal before that, how big is that to be able to come up in, in that sort of moment for him? Well, that's you know that's a sign of a good goalkeeper. I think it's uh, it's always easy when your uh, you know Germans have an expression when when they shoot you warm. You know, basically, if you're taking a lot of shots and have to react to a lot of things on goal, you get into a good rhythm in goal, and your timing's there, and you're alert, and you're making saves. The hardest thing to do as a goalkeeper is to play behind a, a pretty solid defense and basically face, you know, face 35 minutes of nothing, and then all of a sudden they have a great opportunity, and you have to be alert and ready and sharp. And that's, uh, you know, that for me is a sign of a good goalkeeper.